What's the ruling on a mother disowning her ch her child because of arrogance and dis disobedience? Zakhlakar. Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May Allah bless you. Question from North Carolina, right? Disowning your child because they're arrogant and they're disobedient, so on and so forth. Don't disown your child. Chastise them, discipline them, punish them, speak to them, try to go to them, do whatever you can of the thick of parenting. Don't disown your child unless it's an absolute must. Disobedience? Don't you disobey Allah? Allah still provides for you. It doesn't mean that you don't chastise your child. It doesn't mean you don't discipline your child. It doesn't mean that you don't make tarbiyah of your children. All right? But disowning someone, disowning a Muslim, disowning someone who's your flesh and your blood is not a simple, small thing. And it's a major sin, ya, qadiyatul rahim. It's to sever the ties of kin. is a major sin in Islam, as we all know. So therefore, don't disown your child. Try your best to fix the situation. And try your best to prevent the situation. Maybe Allah is punishing you. Maybe when you were younger, this is how you behaved. Maybe it's a sin that you didn't make toba to Allah for. Think about it. All right? Al Muhim, try to handle the situation in the proper way. And don't even think or talk about disowning someone unless it's a necessity. And a person has made kufr, they're not a Muslim, they curse Islam, they stand in Islam. And even then, the person is still your child. But you say, listen, you have nothing to do with me. Get out, you're not welcome here. Don't call me, don't talk to me. Kalas. That's a different story. Wallahu alam.